Hi Taurus, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you are doing well. And welcome to your weekly reading. And this reading is designed to help give you information, insight, energies, and messages um, that you have a part in choosing by selecting and, and thinking about which set of cards you're drawn to. Those are the messages for you. So, you know, as we start a new week, it's important to set our intentions um, that we are provided with messages of love, of truth, purpose, and of course, light, letting the light come into our life. So first set of cards, Amethyst, Rose Quartz, and Pinellith. I'll let you take a moment to choose and then uh, we'll see what we have for you. Okay. So the first message we have for this group of first cards that we have, this first set, overflow love. So it's a beautiful idea of allowing your heart center, your mind, everything to really just um, uh, show your love, to allow yourself to feel love from others, to receive it, as well as to give it, and to uh, really be an instrument of love. And, you know, sometimes uh, we may not feel like we're so loving or in a place where we can get our head around loving, but this is, you know, something to be mindful is to always start from a place of love, always um, come back to a place of love. If, if you're having that challenging day, ask yourself, where can I, how can I pivot back to a loving center? A loving place so allow the love to come within you and that means giving yourself a break uh, cutting some slack in your life you know not being a perfectionist and it means being forgiving and open to others and people are not perfect so again the same love that you give to yourself you give to others and again you know, in times when we have tough times, and if you have tough times with someone else where there's a disagreement, you know, let the initial reaction, let that fall to the wayside and then come back to it from a place of love. So all of this love that you have in your life this week, think about the love that you have and try to keep it within that mindset of to always um, act, believe, treat yourself, treat others from a loving center. Okay, so this says heart portal, receptivity, generosity, and mistrusting. So your heart portal of what, again, what you allow to come in and what you allow to go out. So two big words of being receptive, being open to love, being open to feelings, emotions, not shutting them down. Generosity, coming from a pure place of generosity, of not expecting something in return. So this is a week where you may have to, um, you may want to, without even knowing it, to be generous, to be generous of spirit, to be generous with concern, with love. And, um, you know, again, it, it's this overflow of love from your heart portal. So the flip side of this, so the shadow side, the mistrusting aspect, 
is that sometimes when we lay ourselves out there, we're vulnerable, we're open, we're ready to receive all the love in the world. And for whatever reason, the universe decides that it's not quite uh, meant for you the way that you see things. And you may feel hurt and you may begin to feel untrusting or mistrusting of others. So um, love freely, be open, be receptive. Try not to allow yourself to feel jaded. You know, try to come from a pure place. Not everyone is going to have pure intentions and that's just how it goes. But it's really up to you and how you react this week and every day, honestly, of how you allow the love and the feelings in your heart and the goodness within your heart to come out versus um, being bruised and then, uh, you know, having that really that that corner of mistrust. So this says the gates of triumph, success expands in your life. Success probably gathers some steam. You may be seeing um, the, the results of all of your hard work. Gates of triumph can mean several things that actually you will bring to fruition a close to a project and that you feel successful about it. Maybe you're um, you know, congratulated at work for a job well done. Perhaps you're having success in a relationship. Triumph and walking through this portal to the beautiful sky and the green and the golden path really is, uh, you know, it's, it's the triumph that you decide is important within your life. Not what he or she decides. It's what you feel is success. And success could be just a small thing of really of opening your heart, of being more trusting, of being more generous, of shining your light and your love on others. So allow yourself to enjoy this success and allow yourself to uh, walk down the path here. Behind every successful story has been time and energy put into it. So enjoy what you have done and what you are doing this week. And you may have a very tangible feeling of success. Something may be working out very well. And perhaps for some, it's not so tangible. Maybe it's more spiritual success. Relationship success of interactions and communications. So listen, we have overflow of love. We have a heart portal. We have success. And for many, perhaps some of you are getting into a relationship and things are going well, or, or you're just happy with the arc of your life right now. And then finally, these cards I think are good to have for a question or circumstance for specific information. So let's just see if you have something within your week. Should I do this? Am I going to have this happen? This may be a good card for you to take a look at. So let's see what we have. So this says, if you believe, if you believe three powerful words, which is from every place of manifestation and law of attraction, it comes to believing of visualizing yourself in this situation. If you are hoping for the heart portal and the overflow of love and the great relationship, you have to put yourself into that place. You have to see it and in, and set your intention and truly act as if. And so if you believe, if you believe 
in allowing your love to flow. If you, if you believe that success will be yours, then it will be. So this week, again, if your questions, if you're looking to do something, and again, it goes to if you believe in what you're doing, if you believe in the possible outcome, then it shall be. So beautiful cards for this group of folks, really heart-centered, love-based, um, you know, opportunities to feel successful in love and relationships, love of activities, whatever it may be, coming from a place of love. Okay, so now we're going to look at the second set of cards. So we see the earth and the beautiful greens and the ray of light connect with nature. A simple, wonderful directive for the week, a wonderful message, connect with nature. Get outside and be in fresh air, you know, walk along the water or walk along green fields, beautiful flowers in many, many places of the world right now. And even if it's cold weather, be invigorated by that weather. But to connect with nature is to connect with our Earth Mother and to connect with what makes, uh, what makes us feel grounded in many cases. Feet on the ground, nature, the natural resources, our blessings, gratitude, everything comes from that. And, and honestly, if you're feeling down, if you're having a rough time for this group of cards, if you've had a disappointment or a challenge, clear your mind, go outside, be in fresh air, connect with nature, whether it's animals, water, you know, your part, a powerful message, which is don't forget to get away from the computer to get away from the electronics and the phone and simply be, be outside. Let your blood pressure drop because it's just so relaxing, breathing in the air. So probably this is a very meaningful message for some of you. And if you've been working too hard, overworking, where, where it's impacting your ability maybe to go for a jog at night after work or to go for a walk with your spouse or walk the dog as long as you'd like to. This is saying stop for a moment and um, make sure that you can create the time for yourself this week to get outside, connect with nature. So this says inspirational creation, alchemy, the elements and in innovation. So we see the woman here with the spirals, with the beautiful green trails here, the wisps, the lights, alchemy of alchemy is really the, the integration of your ideas of the physical part, your mental part, into creating something, either creating a new opportunity within your life. You know, maybe you're looking at manifesting and doing something different. And here you're working on all of the pieces that go into this formula and that need to be massaged or need to be stirred or need to be turned over. And that alchemy is going to result in something new and powerful for you. I see it as a new beginning. And when we see the words innovation and when we see the words, the elements, again, makes you think of a traditional um, Rider Waite card and the magician, but it's the elements of what you have. If it's water, fire, air, 
um, earth, or if it's the elements of, of you, your heart, your mind, uh, your physical capabilities. It's getting everything just right and taking the time to build that fabric and to, you know, to weave that fabric into something new and meaningful to you. And I love the word innovation. We, we, we are innovators when we think out of the box. We're innovators when we think about um, new ideas and we pursue them. And again, we look for the ways to connect. We look for the ways to get everything spinning in harmony. The elements that are provided, the elements that you feel strongly about, that you're connecting with, your ideas, your abilities to turn these things into action. So inspirational creation. It could be oh so simple this week. Maybe that's creating just a small little sketch pencil drawing, taking a, an idea and blending it into something beautiful. Or perhaps it's on a bigger scale. But this is a, for this group of cards, for you, connecting with nature and being an inspirational, creative soul and getting things done that are going to make you feel good, going to make you feel proud and feel happy as you're creative, as you are uh, going through the process of, of, of making the alchemy work. So let's see what we have next. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So walking across this bridge, healing and connecting. We saw connecting with nature. And so perhaps this week for some of you, as you're in this inspirational and creative mode, you still have something, you know, tweaking you or nagging at you that is causing some consternation perhaps. So it's important to get back out in nature. We'll go back to that, to take some time for yourself to allow those feelings to lift, to be active in perhaps thinking about them and contemplating and releasing them. I always love the, the idea of, you know, you, you put all those things that are kind of there that may bother you, you put them inside the balloon and then you, you hold up that balloon to the sky and you let it float away, releasing your worries and it's a powerful uh, symbolic thing to do which is just to say I'm gonna pack it up I'm gonna let it go and I'm gonna get back to focusing on what I can do the alchemy and the elements the innovation the inspiration and time for healing connecting mending somewhere within your desire to be inspirational to be creative you need some time to just perhaps let things go, relax, mend. And, and you know, I would say in hindsight, as we look at this, you know, sometimes when we are pursuing something else or if we're being creative, that helps us in our releasing and our mending process because it takes our mind off of the trouble or the concern or the worry. And it puts it into a positive framework of where we're headed, of what we want to do, of what we want to build and have to show. So connect with nature, be creative, get lost in that creation, allow yourself to release or begin to release what may be on your mind, perhaps that isn't serving you. So again, this card, these cards are good for questions or for 
uh, information if, if you're having to make a decision or something's coming down the line. Let's just see what the card has. Interesting, abundance. So we see the angel, we see the beautiful light to the sky and the wings. And abundance can be abundance of spirit, can be an abundance of joy. It doesn't always directly uh, go to an abundance of material possessions or money. Abundance has a much bigger uh, definition. And so sometimes when we connect with nature and we're outside, we can feel abundant because we are presented with the earth's abundance and uh, as we are creative and innovative we get a sense of our own potential for this uh, for a, number one abundant good feelings or abundance in terms of feeling whole or complete with what you accomplish but for those that have a specific question or decision that you are dealing with, you know, your answer here is abundance that you're going to find. Uh, this is a happy card. This is abundance is a good thing. Abundance of love and abundance of uh, feeling positive, perhaps feeling capable, feeling successful. So some very nice messages for the week for the second set of cards. Okay, so I'm going to have a sip of tea here. Hang on for a moment. Okay. So now for our third set of cards, the Pinolith. Inner Guidance. Pretty straightforward, inner guidance, trusting one's intuition, trusting one's own thoughts and beliefs, and um, creating the space for yourself to really get in touch with those, with those feelings. And maybe this is done for some of you by journaling, by some of you with meditation or yoga, or walks in nature, or connecting with friends, colleagues, Inner guidance is really um, listening to your heart and listening to your mind and honoring your soul and honoring your desires and the things that you want to, uh, the things that are really kind of pushing you in a certain direction, paying attention to those, to those ideas. Because listening to your inner guidance, just as we would listen to the GPS in the car, it's directing us in a certain path, but you have to be listening and tuning in to the messages. So through guided meditation, through journaling, perhaps uh, free writing of just sitting down and writing your thoughts, this can help you channel that information. It can help you access it. And sometimes it's nice to just quietly think so this week, it's a week to trust your inner guidance. It's a time to trust yourself, to trust your intuition, your hunches, perhaps your psychic ability, because everybody has that psychic ability. And when you have a decision or something happening this week, that perhaps that it's, it's important for you to trust your inner guidance, to trust your intuition that don't be so quick to push it aside. Don't be too quick to um, cast it off. You know, pay attention to all of the messages, the numbers, the feelings, the hunches that come through. Intuition, inner guidance are powerful tools that we have that for some they're dormant and it's up to you to work on them and to connect with that guidance. Uh, 
Okay, so this card says oneness, balance, patience, divine, masculine. Hmm. So oneness is really a sense of wholeness. And we see the, I think the important word is balance. Because if we are running in different directions, if we are feeling uh, scattered, overworked, overcooked, then our oneness, our wholeness can be impacted. I think that this is a message most importantly to find your balance, to find your center point, to find what works for you in terms of your energy, energy in and energy out. And if you've been working, 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 working to the detriment of your health or your mindset, your positive mindset, because you're so tired and you feel stressed out, then it's time to pull it back. It's time to um, find the balance that is right for you. To stay away from extremes, to stay away from activities that can thwart your oneness, your wholeness. I think the second important word is patience. And that patience is... It's accepting time and it's saying the universe is going to make this happen when it's the right time and I have to trust that and I can't force the issue I can't force it when I think it's going to happen it's going to be organic it's when the heavens and the universe simply is here behind the scenes and at the right moment these things happen so for, for you, it is to take a step back, to release the frenzy of getting things done on your time frame, and just do what you've been doing, but create balance within your life. Give yourself a time, again, back to the inner guidance, trusting your instinct, trusting your intuition, making the time to meditate, to sit before an altar, perhaps, for some of you to be in nature, to just relax, to release some of the uh, high energy that we have in terms to achieve and to do. Focus on patience and balance in order to access your wholeness or oneness. And for the divine masculine, you know, I would say that it's the, the masculine energy of, of moving things out quickly, getting things done, driving forward, ambition. I would just say that that's, you know, keep your finger on that quality and just don't let um, this passionate desire overwhelm the balance within your life. Pursue what you need to do, but incorporate the balance and um, the opportunity for personal reflection and contemplation. Taking shelter, the answers are within. So taking shelter, what is that taking cover? The answers are within. That's a very clear message between inner guidance and the answers are within. You have the answers. You have to trust your answers. You have to listen to the voice in your head. Listen to the whatever that little uh, zinging idea is that you are feeling and just that are popping in to pay attention to them. You have the answers. I think it's a very straightforward message. Taking shelter means, I would say, taking shelter, um, taking shelter and honoring what's within your mind's intentions, what your heart is telling you to do. And when we take shelter, 
what are we finding? We're finding a little bit of safety and we're finding comfort when we take shelter. So taking the comfort and the safety of trusting your own thoughts, of believing that the answers are within here for you. You know, as this is a cold scene and it's the light and the warmth. And so it's symbolic of the challenges that we have within our life. It's to always trust yourself that you do have the answers and that you have to be really present in accepting and understanding the inner guidance, the intuition, the hunches, what's happening below the surface. And then finally, again, for perhaps a decision to be made or a question that you have, here are these very fun cards to work with, often that relate toward timing. So again, for those that chose this, this stone right here, this, I believe it's pronounced Pinellith, it's up to you. And we have a happy angel here. Looks like she's pointing at you, at us. It's up to you. It's always up to you. The answers are within. The finding of uh, the balance and the patience, you're in charge of that. Nobody else is. You have to put your foot down. And um, the inner guidance of making the time to honor your thoughts and oneness. I just, you know, it's amazing. The answers are within and it's up to you in inner guidance. This is really a case for some of you this week that you really need to trust yourself, to trust your decisions and allow your intuition, your hunches to lead the way. The answers will be revealed at the right time with divine timing. So very interesting cards for the week. And I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. And if you did, subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, let me know how you're doing. I thank you for your time. I wish you the best in love and peace, happiness and abundance this week. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.